steaming My skin is green The way it shine, I know you see it I want it, I got it Nav here. I just thought I would show you on my little Fenty Beauty stash. So my full face right now that I'm wearing is Fenty Beauty. The primer straight up to on the eyes, the lips. Oh, and even on the body as well. Full face Fenty Beauty. You know what that means. Shoot, god damn it. So we're gonna start off with the Fenty Beauty bronzer release. I'm saving the best for last, you know. So real quick, this is the shade Mocha Mami, which is the deepest shade. I was excited to talk about the bronzers. I was hyped. I'm not gonna lie. I was pumped. I was like, yeah, I can get me some bronzers. But then when I realized that, you know, my deeper skin queens, they couldn't celebrate in the joy I had of seeing these new bronzers. It, it kind of killed my mood. It kind of killed my vibe. I'm not going to lie. It's not hypocritical, but it made me feel a little bit funny to come and sit down and be like, yeah, the new bronzers, go and get them. I was a little bit disappointed that Nima Tang could not use this as a bronzer and that it did nothing for her and that it disappeared into her skin. Oh, we're losing it. We're losing the dimension. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of making my forehead look really one-dimensional. Here's Rihanna looking gorgeous as usual. But you see what I mean as far as like the lightness in her, the center of her face and all that warmth on the outside. Because the powder is a lot deeper than her, she's able to get that effect. This is almost close to my skin tone. I'm not gonna really like get that same effect. Yes, I know what a bronzer is supposed to do. I know the difference between a bronzer and a contour. A contour gives you the shadow in your face that you know, makes you look a bit more chiseled. But I think they could go a bit deeper, not necessarily darker because that would defeat the purpose. If it's darker, it's not really gonna be like a bronzer. I swatched a few of the bronzers that I thought might be comparable to it. I compared it to the Ebony Bronze from the Queen Collection. It's basically discontinued. You will see that that is a little bit deeper and I think a little bit even more cool tone as well. So it, it bronzes and it contours a bit. It can be a bit deeper. I think the problem is makeup artists are thinking of it too technical. So they're making stuff based on how they visualize it as an artist what they would like on the face but whereas in a real everyday life what is it that a deeper skin toned person will see in the mirror when they look at themselves after they've been out in the sun like what is it that they see do they see red undertones they're not asking you to make something that makes them look quote unquote bronze like how, how a lighter skin toned person would look bronze obviously how I tan in the sun is very different from someone that's darker skin tone I might get a bit more golden because that's my undertone whereas they go deeper in skin tone not necessarily red but we need to find out like what is it that they see and translate that into makeup don't just do it off of what you think is going to be best for a deeper skin tone you guys have models that you try your makeup on and stuff so why is it that they didn't get it right it's clear that Fenty Beauty wasn't trying to have a cool tone they were trying to give you something warm so I don't know if they can go deeper with this but still keep the warmth of the red because we have to just think about there must be some complications with going deeper and keeping the warmth else I'm sure she would have done it but that's my issue why I wasn't excited to do a review that I felt my deeper skin tone friends and family wouldn't feel inclusive of. I didn't even buy my bronzer shade. That's how deep it is. I literally can get bronzers from many brands, almost every brand, for my skin tone. So I felt a bit selfish if I'm being totally honest and I didn't feel like I wanted to gloat in the faces of many that couldn't wear the Fenty bronzer. I didn't know I would feel that way honestly um, because I you know I wasn't trying to think of it that deep and okay some people say oh it's just makeup it's not that deep but it is deep when now in 2019 like everyone wants to be included in stuff as well it's not like back in the day where women of color should feel like they can't find something dark enough or deep enough for them so we still need to make strides with that I am a woman of color and I felt a way about it deeper skin tone ladies need to make their reviews a bit more in depth don't just talk about it's not dark enough. Don't just say that. Please give them advice on how to improve it. They clearly don't know how and I can't suggest how because I don't know. So it's for you to say what you're looking for. That's all I would ask my deeper 
skin toned beauties. And I don't know why people can't get the names right. I've been hearing Mocha Miami, Coco Miami, or Coco Mami. Y'all can't read her, so I'm like it right on the back, big and bold. And people be calling all kind of different names. And like Beijing girl, they be saying Beijing girl and island thing. If y'all go and say the name, get it right, man. Island thing and Beijing girl. You don't have to be Caribbean to say it right. Say it the way it's spelled. Jeez, man, it, it offends me. As a Caribbean, it offends me. Say the word right. I swatched Penny For You Thoughts as well, but I decided not to get it because it had chunks of glitter in it. And I don't think it's really realistic to have chunks of glitter on the face. So I brought along my Sweet As Coco blush from MAC to swatch it just to see what it looked like in comparison to so it. So my full face right now that I'm wearing is Fenty Beauty. Might as well show you what I have, what I like about some of the products, what I don't like. Just in case you've been seeing a lot of buzz about the Fenty Beauty stuff and you're wondering whether you should get any, whether you shouldn't, all that jazz. So we're going to start off with the base. So that's your foundation and your primer. I just started using the primer back because initially when I first bought the primer, I just thought, why did I buy this? Because I don't see a difference in my makeup. I have other primers that I like. I just think that I just bought it because Rihanna came out with makeup. I recently started using it. I do think it does help hold the makeup a bit. It is matte, but it is moisturizing and I have dry skin, so I do tend to run away from a lot of matte products, but this is not, oh, got an itch on my flipping nose. Can you wait till after? Yeah, so initially I didn't like the primer, not because it was terrible, not because it did anything weird on my face, I just didn't think I needed it. I still don't think I need it, but I have started to use it and I do see the difference. It's not something I think I will necessarily repurchase, but it's nice to have and if I'm not using it a lot, that means I will have it for a long time. One thing I will say is that if you have dry skin, I don't think Fenty Beauty products are necessarily formulated for us with drier skin. She created her products to withstand the heat like when she goes back to the Caribbean and stuff. But I have dry skin. I still like dewy foundations even in summer. So I had to find a way to tweak a lot of her products. Putting oil with her products really helped my skin to look the best. When I was putting it on today, I was like, oh my god, I hate this foundation. No wonder I have not worn it. It shows up texture. It is dry looking. It's just not nice. But honestly, after putting it on, I put it on first on one side of my face. Then I used a Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil. And I just, one drop, I literally drop it on my face and I use my beauty blender and apply it all over the face. I think the difference with this oil and like a regular oil is because it's a primer oil, it's a little bit sticky. So it, it works fine with the foundation. It doesn't actually move the foundation. It doesn't lift it up. It doesn't mess with it. Literally blended into the foundation and I loved how my skin looked. The concealer. I have a love-hate relationship with this concealer. I love the color. But I don't love the fact that it creases underneath the eyes. Pros, the color has enough yellow in there. I find like a lot of concealers that I use that I love, the shade is not right. The lighter it goes, it goes into like this beigey tone. And it's like, okay, I'm light, but I'm not beige. I still have melanin. So I want a bit more yellow in it. And light concealers don't tend to really have enough yellow in my opinion. In the foundation, I am the shade 350. So I got the concealer in the shade 350 as well. Which if you haven't seen my review on the concealer as well, they make the shade with the same number, but it's just a bit lighter. Rihanna makes makeup so easy for you. Like they match you, they tell you what your foundation is and then you know that this number concealer goes with that same foundation. It creases a lot. I found like it makes you look old underneath the eyes. For me, it's not as forgiving. Like if you have fine lines, it shows it up. A lot of people have fine lines under their eyes, but some concealers are more forgiving. It's nourishing and it doesn't really show it up like my Too Faced Born This Way concealer. I have no problems with it. I can go in with one layer and I don't have to build up and I get the coverage that I want. With this, I feel like you have to go in with a lot and then you might feel like you can still see like darkness peeking through the concealer. I'll use it because I love the color and stuff, but I don't have time for that. It's buildable, but I think even as much as you're building it up, it's not really covering as much as I would like and I also get afraid to build it up too much because I don't want it to crease because I'm like, just consider creases, just consider creases, just consider creases. Be careful, don't put on too much. But I don't hate it, but I do feel like I love some concealers better than this. Even my Revolution concealer. Then I have the blotting powder and the brush. I don't know why the heck I bought this. 
I don't need it but I used it under my eyes today I bought the brush with it as well because I thought it would be easy when I'm going and I just want to touch up and stuff I have used it but even though they say translucent I do think it is a little bit white I think all translucent powders they act as though like they don't show up white on your skin but it is a bit white like sometimes I will run over it with my face powder to like just give it a hint of color it's not drying at all it's just a blotting powder three highlighters I have the diamond balm I use this on top being money hustler baby I use the hustler baby side it's a it's a it's the right shade for me because I find like a lot of gold um, highlighters are too gold even if they're champagne they're just a bit too gold but this it's like rose gold so it has enough specks of gold in it but then it has a peachy undertone to it I really really like it then I have trophy wife we're not going to act like Trophy Wife is used because it's it's just too gold. Trophy Wife was one of the things as well that was just hyped and it's a splurge. You don't need it. Even on my eyelids, I think it's too golden. Then I have her lip products. I have the Stunner Lip Paint in Uncensored, you know, the first shade that she came out with. I like it. It's very pigmented. You don't have to use a lot. I honestly haven't used this in a while as well but because it's so much that comes out on the wand like there's no there's no way that I don't feel like a clown putting it on the only way I wear this is if I wear a darker lipstick around my lips and then I'll dab a little bit of this in the center to brighten up the red but like all over my lip just this alone I don't really like how it looks on me I've seen some people wear it I just I in general don't like just one shade of lipstick on my lips anyway I always darken the outside with something so right now I'm wearing her which is my favorite brown lipstick this is in the shade shoddy I literally put that on the outside and then I put max top on the inside of my lips it makes a difference with how your eye sees it it's like subconsciously your lips look juicier because you've highlighted the center of your lips I have a green one um like yeah I really like weird shades that I can have fun with and stuff then I have saucy they're tangerine looking color I think I love oranges and browns and reds those are my favorite colors to wear my lip because obviously it complements my skin tone then I have um, a blue one clap back yeah, I really like this color as well, but I haven't had a chance to wear it. I haven't been doing any creative, fun makeup looks. I used to do so much. I also have her gloss balm. This is a splurge. You don't need it. I think any lip gloss does a trick. I have only one of her matchsticks, and I got this in the shade Confetti. Tell me why I have a purple matchstick, please. Tell me, am I a unicorn? I just, I just don't. I just don't know why I bought it. Um, am I a unicorn? I don't understand what I was feeling at that point. Then I bought her fly liner in because I'm black. I like the fact that the pen point is really, really super thin. And I spoke about this in a Fenty Beauty haul that I've done as well, where we're wearing red on the front, my sister and I, if you haven't seen that video. I just feel like it dried out real quick. Saving the best for last. My favorite, the body lavas. <laughs> are definitely a splurge you definitely don't need them but I got them and I really like them and then after this I think I'm gonna put myself on a band for makeup because I really don't need any more but then what if they come out with stuff that are different again because I didn't need any more before and then these were different and then I got it and then I don't know they're just nice obviously I needed a gold one and I need one that I can wear with like everything else and then these will last for a very very long time so then I don't really need to buy any more stuff like this and I love the fact that it um, rubs on like a moisturizer and stuff like that it's a splurge you don't need it I'm not gonna lie you don't need it but it feel good it smell good me look good it smell good <laughs> me a wife material so yeah I could just lay here and like just hug them I have it on my body in person you see a bit of glitter and stuff I'll actually even insert a clip of wearing it on my birthday and then putting a bit of diamond balm around my chest and it just looks pretty it's nothing crazy but it looks pretty and you feel rich you know there's just some things that make you feel like rich it's bad and bad. that's how these make me feel have a good day and I hope that the review on the little products was just like an insight on some of the stuff that if you've never tried Fenty Beauty's products that hopefully 
it was just fun to watch to find out like what is out there on the market don't forget to like comment and subscribe don't forget to watch some of my vlogs that i have up because they're pretty fun that's all folks